Arcturus learn how to summon their demons? Ooh, it fell! <laughs> And today I'm here with a review for The Outcast by Taran Matharu. I was sent this by Macmillan in exchange for my honest review, so thank you so much to Macmillan. I ended up giving it a 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I absolutely loved it. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> so The Outcast is actually the prequel to the Summoner trilogy, which includes The Novice, the Inquisition and the Battle Mage. I have a full review up for the first two books when they first released. So if you guys are interested in seeing my thoughts for the first two books, then I will leave the little cardy thing and it down below for you to check out. But as I said, I loved this. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. It follows Arcturus, who is a young orphaned stable boy, and he soon discovers that he is able to summon demons. Being the first commoner, to be able to do so, he is sent to Vokin's Academy, which is the school where nobles are sent in order to learn how to summon their demons and cast spells. As the first non-royal summoner, he is seen as an outcast among his peers, and with the help of only his demon, Sakharissa, he has to prove to the royals that he is not a threat. I absolutely loved this addition to the summoner universe. I loved the series when it first came out in like 2016. I fell in love with Fletcher, and I fell in love with his little demon. In. It's like the cutest little salamander thing ever. I think it was really cool to be able to see some of my favorite characters as younger versions of themselves and it was interesting to know what actually happened to them later on in their lives. I found it so fascinating to see little young Arcturus and Sakharissa because I love Sakharissa. I still love the idea of the demons and I really enjoyed how we got to see different demons than we did in the Summoner trilogy, although we did see some of our favorites again. I loved seeing Arcturus's and Sacharis's relationship grow throughout the book. I mean, like, I would personally love to have my own candid, like, giant puppy. Yes, please, I would die. I also really liked how the book had absolutely no romance whatsoever, although I am gonna say I wish that two of the characters ended up together, but I know that they don't, but I just, they were so cute, and I just wanted them to be a thing. But I know it never happens, but that's fine. It's fine. The only major complaint I have about the book and why I gave it only a 4 out of 5 stars is because I felt that the ending was a bit rushed. I wanted it to be a little bit more fleshed out, but nonetheless, I still loved it so much. I definitely think that you can read this without having read the Summoner Trilogy and still understand it. I personally think that you should read the Summoner Trilogy first and then the prequel just because you'll know who all the characters are in this book, but you can definitely read it without and you'll still understand the magic system and how everything works in the story. I highly recommend the entire series for anybody who loves adventure and action. It is such a cute and fun read, so definitely pick it up if you get the chance. Alright guys, so that was my review for The Outcast by Taran Matharu. 100% recommend it. Y'all should read it. Thank you so much to Macmillan for sending me a copy, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!